Be'ezras Hashem Yisbarach. I knew that I was speaking at Torah Way. It's an incredible privilege that I have when I'm in London. And the last time that I was there to be here before Shavuos, we also got to learn a little bit together. And I noticed a flyer that there was an extra special something happening to commemorate 20 years of Torah Way. And I was so excited, and I wanted to see Gavalt, who's this amazing speaker that they're going to have speaking at this event. And I, and I thought it was a mistake. I see my name, I said, wow, somebody else has the same name as me. It's so humbling. I had to double check to make sure. It's, are you sure? It's such a schus. It's such a schus to be able to speak here all the time, and to be able to speak anywhere, and to learn Torah with Yidin. But to stand in such a maimed, what an incredible... Gilu Kvot Shemayim it is that Yidin for 20 years have been sitting every morning after davening to start their day with Limanat Torah with connecting to that which guides us Hayra which gives us a sense of clarity a sense of mission so that we have a direction to walk in the rest of our day Ezra Hashem 20 years is just the beginning should all have long and happy and see at least another 20 years, double, and so on and so forth. Be love, mavas, and that we should live forever and without tar away for all eternity. But as is Hashem, in the schus of these chaf years, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, should lift us from the kaf chayva to the chaf zechus, as is Hashem. All Manchester, chaf zechus, for 20 years of limanat tar in the morning. Be'ezus Hashem I want to learn a little bit with you. Mamish Pashit. To me, Mesubshitis. Coming to Aserah Samit Shuvu, we can't do anything fancy. Simple, back to basics. Let's learn inside a few teachings to help us prepare for Rosh Hashanah Be'ezus Hashem. In connection with the parsha that we're still under the influence of, Nitzavim Vayelech. We start from the Helig Abbas Ayin. The Tzadik from Tzvas. And he teaches in his for the following. If you have the source sheets, please follow along if you have them. We have the source sheets uh, circulating. And the Tzadik says, Oida Shilaramis Bazer. Dini Ikara Avda Sulishkal called Davar Vidavar Mishloy Shabuchinis Machshava Dibro Mai. So, what does it mean to serve a Kaddish Baruch? What does it mean to be in this world with the awareness that there's more to life than what meets the eye? What is that? It means Lishko. Call Davar Vidavar. Not to jump to act, not to jump to speak, or even to think, but to be Shaikal first, to calculate, to pause. That a person needs to be misboining, to contemplate within one's mind before one speaks, before one acts, before one even thinks. Is this aligned with the Kaddish Baruch Hu's vision for having created the world? Is this going to contribute to the blossoming of the revelation of divinity in the world, which is exactly why Hashem created the world, which we'll get to. And if this is what a Kaddish Baruch Hu wants, then it's time to do this Maisa, or to speak in this way, or to think in this way. This is a big cloud that all of us are going to act and all of us are going to think and Be'ezus Hashem HaKadosh Baruch Hu should give us the health to be able to speak and to function in a healthy way. But to be a Yid, to be an Ayyad Hashem means that there has to be an element of pausing before we carry on doing all the things that a human being does. To pause, that's the secret of Avaris Hashem. The Achrei Asher Yizkar is Boirei Alam in Baruch Hu B'machshavtai After a person has first stopped for long enough to think in his mind, there's, a, there's Hashem in the world. I'm here for a reason. My whole life is for Him. Then 
Achrei Hashem alekechem tilechus. So he sees this reflected in a pasuk, which Chazal darshan a little bit differently. But the pasuk tells us in Parshas Re'e, we should walk after our Kaddish Baruch Hu. Say Chazal, what does it mean to walk after our Kaddish Baruch Hu? He dabek b'midaiso, mahu racham, avata racham, mahu chanan, and so on and so forth, to follow Hakadosh Baruch Hu's way. Says the Bas Ayin, a whole different taj. He says, what does it mean? He says, live, accomplish, go through life. Experience the full spectrum of what it means to be a human being. But do so after first grounding yourself and myself in the awareness that I'm an ever of Kutchebrich. Then, Achrei Hashem Alikechem, then you can go, then you can act, then you can speak, then you can think. Telechu. But to ground ourselves, to anchor ourselves in that mitzvah, in that reality. We should do whatever we're going to do, only after grounding ourselves first in the fact that Hashem Alikechem. Hainu Shemikoidem, Talu Amachshav Techem, Es Aboi Rei Baruchu, Biachakach, Telechu Vitasu, Dvarim Hatsrichem Lachem. Bini Isu Bizar Kaddish is brought on the Heliga Zayar. There are different Ramazim to this in different places as well. Tana Devaliyo, other places. Al Pasik, the Pasik in Iyoi Vim Hayoim, Bayi Hayoim, Bayavigam Masat and Besoicham, Lehis Yatsev Al Hashem. Reference is made to a particular day where the Satan comes down. Says the Zara Kaddish, what's this a reference to? When it says Hayoim, it's a Rosh Hashanah. It's a reference to Rosh Hashanah. The Gemara Rosh Hashanah. Tiku b'chaydesh shayfra b'kesa li yoim chagenu. Yoim is a reference to Rosh Hashanah. It is the day. Yoim ha'arichim. Lehisiyatsev al Hashem. What does that mean? Lehisiyatsev al Hashem says the Zohar Kaddish al Yakra to Hashem. Why does the Satan come down? What's the din about? Man hu d'loi chayish li Yakra delay. There's an analysis that's made upon all of us to decipher how connected are we to this realization of Hashem Aleikechem? Who's the person, Chas Shalom, who's not aware? Who doesn't care? It's not his concern. Liyakr delay. To the covet of Hashem, which means the presence of Hashem. Which means the awareness that all of life is lived within the womb, so to speak, of Elokuz. And that Kaddish Baruch whose energy, just like that of the mother, that comes through the umbilical cord to the infant that's growing within her, the mother fills and surrounds the baby. And the same thing is true, says the Ariyah Kaddish, without getting into the whole depth of it now. This is mamish the way that it is, as we exist as autonomous beings in Olam Hazeh. We are surrounded by Elokos, and we are filled with Elokos. Now, I'm talking mamish now, not theoretics. Right now, we're living in the womb, Kibyachal, of the Ainsof. A person is acting without this awareness. Once we know that the word Hayoyim is a code word for Rosh Hashanah, let's revisit the Pasuk. He says, means that we stand Hayoyim on Rosh Hashanah. Why do we stand on Rosh Hashanah? Who stands up? Lemishpat. Or I made Lemishpat. That we're shaykel within ourselves. In yesh din lamata, ein din lamala. It's up to us. We judge ourselves. It's a day for us to judge. It's a day for us to go inward, to assess, and to figure out, like, how am I living? How do I want to live? Do I want to continue in the same way? Do I want to change? Do I want to be big, big, big? Lefnei Hashem Lekechem. Says the Heliga Bas Ayin. Amish, the deepest thing. Zuk Er, what does it mean that we stand on Rosh Hashanah in Din? For what purpose? 
because lifnei Hashem alikechem. Because of how many times that telechu, that we walked and acted and thought and spoke, lifnei, before stopping to ground ourselves in the reality of Hashem alikechem. That's the din. That we don't go with consciousness. That's what the din is about. Like we said, we already established that the whole Yiddishkeit is supposed to take place. So chas v'shalom, if a person is not living aligned with that, and there's l'fnei Hashem l'keichem, we have to assess our inner world, and we have to correct that, and we have to come clean, and we have to commit to a year of walking, again, with confidence and strength, to do great things. I think we have among us an individual who did a great thing 20 years ago. He did a great thing. And I'm sure he's incredibly unique, but all of us are incredibly unique. Every single person has the capacity to believe that you can do something, shtel something avek. Like we said, how many thousands and thousands and thousands of hours and cities and of all in the world that Ezra Hashem will spread, not just, can't think just in the UK, it's going to spread and grow and develop. And that's what Akkadish Baruch Hu put us all here for as individuals, to do big things with confidence, but with the consciousness of Hashem Alikeichem. V'yal zeh shemaseichem heima shaloi b'zboinenus Again, the main thing is before doing anything. What's the reality of life? What's the Metsias? Hashem is Baruch Yizakeinu L'zeh HaBechina Kodesh Baruch Hu should bless us with this Bechina because this is the most important thing there is. Because this is the make it or break it in life. Because all of us will have varied experiences and different circumstances in life and two people could have mamish the same kind of challenge and struggle. And it makes all the difference in the world whether one person is Achrei Hashem Lekeichem engaging with that challenge or Lefnei Hashem Lekeichem. It'll be difficult and painful but we don't have to suffer. But it doesn't mean that we were born to suffer. It means that we were born to toil. And the difference between toil and suffering is whether or not we're anchored in a much bigger boat that can carry ours so that we don't have to do all the work. That, that ship is, is the Ein Sof, is the infinite one. So I, with all of my pekalach and my challenges, and my, so I think I'm carrying them. And it's true that if I'm also being carried, so then it makes things a bit easier. So this is what the din is on Rosh Hashanah. Then amazingly enough, Rosh Hashanah functions in and of itself vis-a-vis -vis the year. This and Kud, I don't know, there's music playing out of here that's, that's staring. Can I? Go ahead. I love music, but everything has its right place. Rosh Hashanah functions as a day vis-a-vis -vis the coming year as an opportunity to pause and to ground ourselves in Hashem Alikeichem. That's what Rosh Hashanah is all about. So we're about to launch into a new year and all of us have goals and all of us have different things that we want to do. And, and Rosh Hashanah is the day to stop and to remember before we set out on a journey, what is our destination? Because if we don't know where we're going, one thing is absolutely certain. We'll never get there. And so to stop on Rosh Hashanah before we go into the year with all of our objectives and motivations, v'chulei, Hashem alikeichem. That's what Rosh Hashanah is all about. Let's take a look at Rav Tzadik HaKain, right in the beginning of Tzikas HaTzadik, which fascinatingly enough, it's all a long story, Rav Tzadik, you know, was, was a non-chassid, to use a politer term. A whole long story, Heter Meir Rabbanim, not getting into the whole thing now, he took a, a tour around Europe to meet all different Rabbanim, and eventually he came to the Ishbitzer, the Heligam Yashilach, who was a former Talmud of the Kotzker. He spent one Shabbos there, he wasn't intending to become a Chassid or anything like that. He was going around getting signatures for Heter Meir Rabbanim. That's a very complicated story. 
and he heard one little tiny tire from the or one shalashudis, and he started howling, screaming. The Rebbe's pouring acid on my soul, mamish. Cleaning me out. And he never left Ishbitz, he stayed there. So people think Tzikas at Tzaddik is Rav Tzaddik's main work of Hasidus must have been after like 15, 20 years. It's one of the most radical, it's one of the, it's one of the most sharp. Fascinatingly enough, Tzikas at Tzaddik was written one year after Rav Tzaddik came to the Ishbitzer. It's a Pella, one year. That means that in that short period of time, the shift and the transformation that took place in Rav Tzaddik's worldview is Ain Lushire. Mamish, just an interesting anecdote. I was very shocked to find that out. So it's Sikh Tzaddik right in the beginning. The Prasik says, Brachas the Rosh Tzaddik, a Pasik in Mishle. That a Kaddish Baruch who sends Brachas down the Rosh Tzaddik says the, the Tzaddik. Lekach Mesechas Brachas Hascholas Hashas. He says, For this reason, we begin Shas with Mesechas Brachas. Why? Could have begun with and with any other mesechta. Why dafka brachas? She called because the main thing is another pasuk da eselikei avicha va'acharkach of dehu. We want to engage with serving a kodesh baruch hu. Tyra mitzvahs ma'isim tayvim ashloisha devar ma'olam oimid. But there's a premise that needs to take take place first, and that's called da eselikei avicha. This is something similar to what we spoke about. If you remember before shvuas, we spoke about berichas atayra. Da eselikei avicha, and then avdehu. But first we have to be aware of the bigger picture. Shetzarich leid alami oiveid. That we have to have on our consciousness, who are we davening to? Because that's the premise of tefillah. V'zeu ha-bracha l'fnei kol masa, and this is why we make brachas. L'yached kol maisa v'la Hashem, before doing anything. Abir chazah mitzvah, abir chazah shavach. Whatever it is, a person stops, again, before doing something, and grounds himself, and Hashem alekeichem, then you can eat that thing or do that thing. Telech. In all of the paths of life, in the base medrash, out of the base medrash, in the shul, out of the shul, all of life with all the spiritual moments and all the mundane moments, life as life is an opportunity to become more conscious of the fact that all of this is an illusion and that in the truth we're mamash living like we said in the womb of divinity. And this is what the bracha is. What's the shear for chinuch when it comes to brachas? That in order to begin to be mechanach a child in brachas, the shear is that he should know lemimavarchin. So why is that important? Because that's what a bracha is. So if he doesn't know that there's a concept of lemimavarchin, why we make a bracha, so then it's... It's the opposite of what... The premise of making brachas is. This is lav dafka the shear for the rest of mitzvah. It's not true. It doesn't necessarily need to know for whom he's putting on tefillin. It's a different thing. But the gather for brachas is you absolutely have to know lamim of because that's why we make brachas. This is why we have brachas. And therefore, when we begin Shas, and if we hear Be'ezus Hashem, we start a new uh, you know, set of 20 years, Be'ezus Hashem learning. So at this moment, we also have to be Mikadish, the Tchila. Because we're about to embark, Be'ezus Hashem, on many more years of learning. So again, another opportunity. We stop, we pause, and we remember. We begin Shas with what? Mesechah's brachas. Very deep. I don't know. It's an excellent question. It's an excellent question. There are brachas that are midi araisa. So, the Pasuk Barishas Bar Elikim is a di araisa. <laughs> That's how you start Tarsh of It's also Barishas Bar Elikim. Right? Rashi, why didn't we start with the mitzvahs? We begin Shas with Masechah's brachas. Why are we learning? Why are we putting on tefillin? Why are we coming to shul? Why are we from Yidin? Not just because our parents were and their parents were. There's a Bechina of Elikei Aveseinu. But first is Elikei Nu. Elikei Nu is our God. He's our Kaddish Baruch Hu that we want to connect to. We have to build a personal relationship with our Kaddish Baruch Hu. So we begin Shas with Masechah's Brachas. 
Zeu ascholah as haknisas latayra kama shakas of reish his chachma. It's yiras Hashem's awareness that Hashem comes first. The yiras shemaim wa ide shivisi Hashem lenek di summit. How does a person come to yiras shemaim? Doesn't mean to tremble and be fearful and stressed out and anxious. On the contrary, the loy ne laid lebahala. We said this morning in in a valetzi and the whole tachlis of tires that we shouldn't live in a state of bahala. Not that we should. Tyra is not meant to make us so crazy that we live life in a bahala all the time. Like the loy ne laid lebahala. The whole purpose of tires is to help us relax. To help us be calm. To help us go with emunah and bitachin. So how do we come to that level of Yerush Shemayim? The Shivisi Yud Kevav Kelenegdi Samid. Everything in life is an encounter with the Kaddish Baruch Hu. He put me here, not me. Noyach Loyla Adam Shaloy Nivra Misha Nivra. It's on him. I'm on his cheshman. He sent me here as a shliach. So I have a mission to do but without stress. That's the real reality that's taking place, without stress. And when we do that, says the Mari Naim, we don't have it here on the sheet, but the Eilig Mari Naim says just a small sharf of Taira. On a simple level, it means that David Amalek says, I put God before me always, wherever I go, Hashem. Says the Mari Naim, the Eilig Chernobyl, Shivisi, a Jew who's living in such a way, shivisi, it's the same to him, equanimity, shaveh. It's the same, whether it's yudke, vavke, which means the chesed of Hashem, or even lenegdi, when sometimes life seems to be against me. Shivisi, yudke, vavke, lenegdi. Those two things are tamid, they're the same. By a yid who's plugged in, achri Hashem alikeichem, then teilechun, makes no difference. By davar melech, a yid who's plugged in in such a way, it's all okay. HaKadosh Baruch Hu feared the world. V'ha'inu, bracha, shekulam, maschil, and belosh, and noichach. Okay, it gets into a little bit of a different Indian here. We don't have time. But now comes the most important thing, the most important part for the last few minutes that we have. The Ezra's Hashem. The beginning of a thing gives us the opportunity to stop and to pause and to ground ourselves in the big picture vision what our objective is, where we're trying to head, what we're trying to accomplish. And if that's what Rosh Hashanah is, as we embark on a new year, we have the opportunity to stand with total consciousness for two days, to be aware of this reality that a Kaddish Baruch was the Melech, so that we have to really deepen our understanding of the mission statement. Why did a Kurdish Baruch Hu put us here? Ultimately, ultimately, all of us know the 613 minutes. All of us know what we need to accomplish, but why? What is the tachlis of all of this? What is the tafgit? What's the purpose? So let's take a look at the Helgi Lukuti Alachas from Nasan, Schusi Aganaleinu. Let's read a few lines and then we'll, we'll conclude for this time. He says, Vizevachinas Kriyashma. This is an aspect of Kriyashma Beped Daika. That we have to speak Kriyashma Daika with our mouths. We have to speak out our emuna al miras Kriyashma Pamayim Bechol Yoim every day. With our physical fleshy mouths, not just on the level of our machshava. Why? Why is it so important? Daika Beped, even Limad Atar should also be done. Beped, Chayim, Lemoitzi Yeim, Lemoitzi Yeim, Beped. Sebechinas, this is an aspect of that which we are going to sing over the Yom Neiroim. The Avisa Tehila Migushe Afar Mikrutze Chaimer. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you didn't just want that on the level of my Machshava I should be thinking holy thoughts. You wanted, Chazal Se Akir Svasayim is also called a Maisa. You wanted physically in this Olam HaTachtoim, in this physical world, you wanted that I should be Mepharsim, your Elokus. You desired Daika, human beings. With all of the vicissitudes of life that make us human beings and not angels. Because angels are perfect. And to be perfect would be the opposite of what a Kodesh Baruch Hu intended for me and for you. Because then we'd be Malachim. And then He wouldn't have created us. So the imperfection and the challenges and the limitations and the confusions and the not knowing what to do all the time. That's great. That's, that's Lechat Chila. That's not Bidi Eved. That's a Gavalt. Good. That's what He, he created. A human being. 
Sheikar Tanuga Vishashua Vizbarach, the Kiviachal Akadish Baruch, whose greatest Tainug and his Shashua, his Kishiyoidim and his Baruch, his Elama Shuffle, is that this world should also be seen as filled with Elokus, like we spoke about. That's why we have to speak out our amuna with our mouths. To scream it from the rooftops. To let the whole world know. Because we have to proclaim it to the world. Because that's what Hashem wanted, that daika in this physical oilam agashmi, in this oilam of sheker, in this oilam of hester, it should be revealed that be'emes, 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 mole elikus, mole elikus, just have to know how to look deeper, see beyond the surface of life. The Iker, he concludes, Lahari Bedari Mata, she's a Iker Shashu of Kanal, to those that are in this world, the Dari Mata, the other human beings, to speak. To other Yidin about Amuna, to be mechazik each other, to speak with each other, mamish about life, not just about the details of the Shir that we just learned, which is also incredibly important, but mamish about life, be'emes about life. And again, not about what happens to be going on in your life at the time or what happens to be going on in that person's life at the time, but about life, bechlal. Life, this experience of being alive in this world, bechlalias, to have conversations about that. It should be the most important topic that people talk about. It should be the most common thing, because it's the most important thing. If that would be the main thing that we spoke about at Simcha, so you get together with somebody at a chas, and you sit down, and you talk about the tachlis, the purpose of life. The tachlis. Why are we here? To remind ourselves, to be mechazek ourselves, because it's so easy to forget. It's so easy to forget. She's a Iker Tanug of his bar canal, Kiadibor. With this, we'll finish. Kiadibor is a Bechinus, the Pasuk and Tehillim. The Pasuk says, Yimale P. Tehila Secha. There's an aspect of Yimale that when a person speaks out Amuna with their pe in the Olama Shuffle, in the Olama Gashmi, there is in that moment an aspect of Yimale. Something became filled that was previously void or empty. Bebechina says the Hilgar Abnasin Schusia Gunalainu that this is what a Kurdish Bar who created Adam and Chava for when he told them Pru Uruvu Umilu Esa Aret didn't just mean that you should fill the world with children. Of course it meant that. Apipshad. So much deeper. Maybe the most important Pasik in the whole Tyra, who knows? Umilu esha aretz is the tachlis of life. That there is artsius, that for many people is mamish empty, that there's no godliness and there's no ruchnius and there's no deeper reality and it's just life. And the Kodesh Baruch who created the human being, umilu esha aretz, fill it up. Recognize the way in which it is full, in which it is saturated with meaning and potency and energy, in which it is hurtling toward redemption and we're expected to play a part in that. Recognizing that the whole world, every part and particle and facet and factor of life is saturated with Hashem's presence. And just the Pasig in Shayel literally uses these same words. That the ultimate objective, we have to look in the Nevi'im. It's so important to learn Navi. So we look in the Nevi'im, we see where we're supposed to be headed, what the world is supposed to look like that we are, Mamish, right now creating. Sheishis Yamim Tavar Vasisa Kamalach Techa, we're in the Elif Hashishi at the very end, before Shabbos Kodesh. This is the world that you and me are busy constructing. We have to look at the, at the blueprint, we have to look at the Pesukim and Navi to see what the world is going to look like. Says Yeshayo, that at that time there will be no element of lowliness, ego getting in the way, people fighting, pettiness, smallness. Why? Because finally will have been accomplished the objective for which HaKadosh Baruch Hu created human, humanity in the first place, which was Umilu Esa'aret. Memela, at the very, very end of history, after all of our contributions, each of us dealing with our own particular circumstances and trying to do so consciously, which means, Achare Hashem Alekechem Telechu. So then we're going to come to a place where umilu esa'aretz, umala aretz deas Hashem, kamayim liyam achasim. I want to wish everybody, be'ezus Hashem, 
Aksiva v'chasi matay v'agut keban shiar, a year filled with the energy of lemancha eloikim chayim. That the one that gives us life gives it to us so that we should recognize what life is about, what life is for, and to carry on with our learning, and to carry on with our avoida, with consciousness, with calm, with presence of mind. Yishav Adas, and we should hear B'surah's Taivah's Ba'ezus Hashem's Thank you very much.